Good morning, world changers. It's day 29 of the 100 days of self-discovery. If you just come across this video every day, I pose a thought-provoking question. I share my own reflections and I invite you to do the same. You can post your comments in the comments below or you can take a photograph of your journal or you can post a video like mine if you feel you want to push yourself and challenge yourself a little bit. You're more than welcome to join our private Facebook group which is a Change Your World personal development group, that's what you'll find us under. And like I say, it's free, it's private, and you can post and share your reflections in there. We've got quite a growing community, so it would be lovely to see you in there. So today's question is, what are your most important needs? Now, uh, when I first read this, I thought, wow, that's kind of a big question, because you're like, I have different needs for different areas of my life so um, yeah it's quite a challenging one to answer but what I thought about I mean first and foremost I need health because without my health everything goes to pot nothing else would be a priority um, I wouldn't be able to function properly in doing all that I do and I wouldn't feel great um, it just it would impact on absolutely everything. So for me, a very important need is to be healthy. Um, I also wrote connection for me, and connection means uh, a number of things. Um, on a kind of basic level, it means connection to my friends and my loved ones, um, family, and you know, just connecting with people. Um, it means connecting with nature. Uh, living in the Highlands of Scotland, I am very fortunate that I've got a beautiful scenery around about me. Every day I wake up and I see the mountains and the Murrayfirth and the sea and it's just beautiful. And as soon as I open my curtains, I feel that sense of being connected to the world and that totally lights me up. I go for my run or my walk in the mornings. I go um, into the woods beside me and... I absolutely just love connecting with nature and animals. I'm a massive animal lover. So feeling um, my place in the world, um, however significant or insignificant that is, it just, just connecting, just makes me, it grounds me, keeps me um, balanced. And when I don't do it, I feel out of kilter. So that's really a, a really important need. I've also wrote safety. Um, I think, you know, we can become very complacent um, living in the UK and just, especially where I live in the Highlands, it is so safe up here. I feel very safe and secure. You know, I don't feel uh, in danger when I'm, if I'm walking about when it's dark, it's very low crime. And, you know, I just feel very grateful for that. And that's, you know, I think that's important to feel very safe and secure in your environment, whether it's your home, the streets, you know, wherever. Uh, I think that's an important need. Well, for me anyway, um, it's it certainly helps with my health and happiness if I feel secure in my, in my environment. And my home, I absolutely love my home. I feel like my home is my sanctuary and I love coming home here. Um, it again, lights me up. I love my garden and I just yeah, I just feel very, I was going to say feel very at home, but um, I'm trying to explain that I just feel very content and it's a nice, nice safe feeling. I never feel scared uh, living alone or anything like that. Um, inspiration, that's my next need. I love being inspired. I love people that really... Um, I find inspiring and jazz me and just kind of go, wow, you know, so I love motivational stories. I love uh, reading um, books that people have written about their life story and the adversity that they've come over. I mean, that's what I loved about my day job as a radio producer. I got to speak to people that had just come through enormous adversity and come out the other side of it. And it just blew my mind every time. Um, what people can survive and go through and you know still thrive um, 
so that being being inspired you know i am a bit of a an inspiration junkie i like to um uh, yeah it, it gives me it fills me up with creativity and gives me ideas about what actually is possible you know if like somebody else can do that then well what can I learn from that person and how can I apply it to my life and uh, what, what can I do uh, growth and learning massive need in me I get bored so easily and this is you know, if I don't feel like I'm moving forward, I'm not growing, not learning something new. I'm just like, oh. it, it really affects my mental health, actually. I feel quite depressed. Um, and also, you know, even though I feel challenged sometimes by growth and learning, um, I'd rather that than being bored and my brain kind of shutting down. So I, it really does affect my mental health if I'm not doing that. Next thing, uh, a major need uh, is meaning and purpose. And again, this comes into the inspiration, the growth and learning, but meaning and purpose for me, doing, knowing I'm doing something that is making a difference. That is vital. It's, I mean, it's scientifically proven that as individuals, people, we need this in our life because, and that's how it's, it's part of our happiness. If we don't have meaning and purpose to, to our day, it affects our health, it affects our happiness, it affects our um, mental health because you end up just kind of uh, uh, quite anxious about it and thinking, well, what's the point? You know, what, what am I getting up for? If there's no meaning or purpose to your day, and I mean, it doesn't need to be big, major, you know, world-changing things. It can be just about, you know, making sure your kids go off to school and they're well fed and they're happy and they're healthy or it's that your home is tidy or, you know, whatever it is to you. Uh, it's about, have, you know, having that meaning and purpose and what's important to you and, you know, what how it makes a different to, difference to your uh, environment and the relationships that you have. And the last and final thing, I think I could have gone on with this list actually, but uh, love, kindness and honesty. Uh, these needs are to be surrounded by people that are loving, that are kind and are honest. I cannot, I just cannot deal with drama and people that are toxic, are negative, are unkind. I find that really, I find them really horrible traits to deal with and I just, it doesn't make sense to me when people are not kind and not um, loving and not honest and genuine. It just, um, it really affects me and I can't quite make out, you know, I question why is that person like that? And I know there's a, God, there's umpteen reasons why uh, somebody might be like that. Um, and you know, you've got to kind of look beyond the behavior and work out what is that person trying to communicate, you know, because there's something gone wrong uh, in their lives if they are being dishonest and angry or negative or, you know, whatever, there's something going on. So, um, so that is my role um, to show kindness and compassion towards that person um, <laughs> as long as their behaviour is not uh, causing me major drama and grief in my life. But yeah, that's having uh, those traits in somebody else and uh, me giving them to some, giving love, kindness and honesty is uh, definitely an important need. So that's my reflections for today. Like I say, I think I could have gone on with this list. There's, I don't, does that make me needy if I've got a big list of needs? Gosh, I um, hadn't actually looked at it that way. <laughs> so anyway, so the question today, what are my most important needs? I suppose if I was to put top three, it would be health, connection and meaning, stroke, purpose. So yeah, that's my top three anyway. So I'd love to hear your reflections. Uh, like I say, share them in the comments below. Do a video like this. Let us know what you're all about. And this challenge, uh, the 100 days of self-discovery, is exactly that. It's just so that you can get to know yourself, work out what's important to you, and then start applying that and creating that in your life so that you can start creating a happier, healthier you instead of just reacting to life because that's what we tend to do if we don't take some time out to discover what we're all about and what we want from life. So, 
Love to you all. Have a fantastic day. It's another start of a week. I hope it all goes well for you and you have a great week ahead. And uh, yeah, let's see where this week takes us. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.